Hey guys, it's uh, Cody from the Flag Football League and Amateur Hour. And I uh, just thought I would tell you before you listen to this episode that the audio is not the best because Troy and I were having to do it over the phone. Um, it is fun and entertaining, and I think you'll especially like the Bill Belichick interview. But um, the audio is not of the best quality, and I thought I would le- at least let everyone know before you listen to it. Um, You might have to listen a little bit harder, but I promise it's worth it. So we appreciate you guys listening and enjoy the show. To remote amateur hour. Um, this is uh, Cody. I'm at my house, and uh, Troy, where are you? I'm also at my house, not your house, my house. Well, how is Mexico this time of year? <laughs> it's uh, it's it's down there. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. they've got I a lot of Corona down there. They they do have a lot of Corona. Actually, they just ceased making Corona and Modelo and all of your other favorite Mexican beers because they decided that the beer manufacturing was non-essential in Mexico. So no Pacifico. Not in America. We, uh, (laughs) liquor stores are essential. So there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how is your Corona adventure so far? I mean, honestly, for me, I have not, it hasn't really changed. I'm working like normal and just, uh, not going out to eat very much. That's about it. And not, going anywhere else, just staying at home and working. So nothing new, really. Well, not that's playing, good. I'm not, not playing football. That's a big change. Yes, not playing play football is a thing right now. Uh, it's been a thing for me for a little while, but uh, for everybody else, um, it's, it's a newer thing. But uh, we thought that we would do an amateur hour for you guys and at least give you something to do while you're home, not doing anything at all. So, <laughs> they, um so what we're going to do first is we're going to do a watch along for it's from 2015 from the first week we ever actually filmed all the games. Um, so it's like old footage uh, of old teams, but some of the familiar faces. So Troy and I are going to watch it and you guys can watch along at home and um, listen to our comments and make your own little comments about how far we've come in the last five years. And please bring all your comments. I actually like to hear what people have to say about how far we've come in this league since uh, 2015. Yeah, uh, we love to hear, hear you guys' comments. I mean, we've been doing lately the uh, the digital fly football cards and just posting different videos. So we always read them because we're just as bored as you guys, you know. Um, even if you do get to go to work, there's still nothing to do when you get home. So social media is <laughs> actually kind of nice for this kind of stuff. Um but, Troy, are you ready to watch Shake and Bake versus Hitman? I am ready. Sounds like we're watching a 1970s snuff film. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a 3 two, one countdown and we can watch it at the same time. Okay, you ready? It'll be I'm ready. 3 two, one, go. Are you ready? I'll push play when you say go. Okay. 3 two, one, go. All right. All right, we're well, oh, Look at that look film. At- uh, <laughs> quality. It's amazing the transformation from standard definition to high definition. There's John Landry taking the kickoff. That is John Landry. Look at that. Look at that head of hair. <laughs> Great it's changed hair. over the years. <laughs> it has. <laughs> so this is the Hitman, which right now they are team. Oh, what is their name now? There's some one. Uh, I don't remember. They're they're are they prime time now? No, are they? Don't yeah, they are now prime time, which is weird. Yeah. But because prime time is about to play in this uh, next game here. Yeah, so Shake and so, Bake is on defense with their basketball uniforms. They sure are. You know what? They were not a bad team. Like they had some good uh, players. They just uh, don't have that guy. 
They were like from Tyler, Texas or something. They had a, like, a long drive. <laughs> I think they were from Juneau. <laughs> no, Tyler, Thank Pena, you. Fort Worth. Hey, that was a good flagpole by that guy. Yeah. That guy there with the yellow yeah, sleeve. Yeah. Hey, there's Jacoby. Jacoby. Look at him. Yeah, my, I think the camera person just had a seizure. Probably no, no. <laughs> it's probably the Rona. The Rona got him. The Rona will get in seizures and sweats. Sometimes it makes you kind of happy. Oh, that, that was oh. a drop. He's mad. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's Connor Moore playing quarterback, isn't it? That is Connor Moore, um, and he moved to Lubbock to go to college to make a better person of himself. That's why he doesn't play in the league anymore. Uh, oh, that, John Landry. Oh, again. He said he did. It isn't a touchdown, I think. That's who was the other one? I don't remember who it was. Oh, got it. Good. Tammy Sosa with a touchdown. Yeah, That's Sammy stuff. Oh, it was Marco Cho was the other ref. Man, we had some <laughs> some pros out there that day. <laughs> it was a new thing. Everybody wanted to be a part of it. Oh, that's a good pass. That was good. This looks like football. I remember I asked you after this was over, like the first week or the first tournament, if it looked like football to you. <laughs> yeah, it was a little. It was a little slower pace, you know, because we didn't have the loose cannons and toe stoppers out there, but. uh yeah, it still resembled football. I mean, oh. Yeah, yeah throw that throw flag, flag at him. Throw it at him. <laughs> throw it and throw it at him. I mean, oh, I, I feel like right now we should be observing how different the fashion was back then. <laughs> but it was only <laughs> five years ago. It's only, yeah, five, not even five years ago. I mean. Yeah. But, man, the difference between high definition and standard definition is crazy. Yeah, you can't even really tell what's right. The details anymore. Yeah. Can't see anybody's face. That was a stiff arm. I mean, you talk about the change in fashion. I think I still wear the same uh, undergarment for playing that I did at this time. I think I do too. In fact, I think uh, <laughs> I have worn my same thing. undergarment to play flag football for yeah. for many a year. Yeah. Uh, oh, that that was on a, look at Man. this. Man, it's a two scores. I didn't remember there being more than 12 points in a game this, this week. Hmm. And I don't, I, I, remember, I think the Hitman made the playoffs, but I don't think Shake and Bake made the playoffs. I don't think so either. I think it's because they forfeited. They did have a lot of forfeits. I think they, they couldn't the make it down from Oklahoma. Yeah. Every time I mention where they're from, it's going to get farther north. Yeah, they had to go to church and then get try some play. And then it was just a, Man, they did like church a lot. Can't go to church right now. You get arrested. Yep. <laughs> yeah. This is, just, this is just the government's way of killing all religion. Yes, because the government always wants to kill religion. Sorry, <laughs> I can't get on the phone. Anyway, uh, Connor Moore just didn't do anything that way. Uh, uh, start. Now, those of you who listen to this, you're going to need to realize something. If we're going to keep on doing this, hey, there's Andy Romano. If we're going to keep on doing this over the next few weeks, um, I might venture off into some topics that are controversial because I'm getting really bored. Well, but just be aware. Well, I, I do have a few. Uh, well, we'll get to it. I think we'll have an interview later this episode. We got it lined up. Uh, I do have a few questions for him. Yeah, so, we have a very <laughs> special guest later. Uh, you guys really, really need to hang in there with us. Uh, this this week two of the first season of flag football because um, we we have an interview that's going to really knock your socks off. It's um, and this, this, isn't, not, this, this isn't this isn't some just fly by night fella either. Hey, there's a touchdown kind of. <laughs> a touchdown kind of. It's like watching Tank Mobile or something. Oh, throw it! Yeah. Wow, yeah. That's, that's five yards off the back of the end zone. I don't think that upright had any moss on it back then. Not back then. Oh, a deep ball. Well, moss grows heavy on an unused upright. I think Bob Dylan said <laughs> on, that. On the north side of the unused upright. Well, yeah, whatever. Well, <laughs> at any rate, um, Buna's B-team basketball just threw a pass. That doesn't have a flag yard to me. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> the field still had grass all the way on it. There's just a little <laughs> bit of dirt right there. It sure did, didn't it? 
people remember this field used to have grass. Yeah, back before those dumb adults started playing on it. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk to oh. that guy too at some point. <laughs> uh, I would love to get his thoughts on the coronavirus and Tiger King. <laughs> Tiger King was awesome. I wouldn't love to hear what Bill Peterson has to say about Tiger King. I would like well, to hear what Bill Peterson says about Tiger King. I, I bet Bill Peterson has visited the GW Zoo multiple times. <laughs> I bet he got paid on by a tiger. <laughs> well, oh, you know what? While we're watching this dumb game, why don't you tell me your thoughts of Tiger King? Oh, oh, there's, that, kind of. there's a touchdown. Look at it. Man, the score. No defense in this game. Just score. Who is the worst person on Tiger King? That bitch, Pearl Baskin. <laughs> Do you I really hated, think she's the I worst hated, person? I hated her so much. She was the worst person in the whole thing. Her, then Jeff Lowe. Those are my two. Well, actually, it was Carol Baskin, Howard Baskin, Jeff Lowe. Uh, Man, Jeff Lowe is third to them? Oh, he was terrible. No, no, him. but I'm just No, I hated him the most. Oh, he, I think, oh, Carol. I just thought that, she was that, weird that and eccentric. Her, her name is now that bitch Carol Baskin. That's her <laughs> name now. <laughs> See, she didn't her, bother me so much. The oh, one that bothered me a lot was uh, Doc Antle. Uh, yeah, I, 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 there wasn't as much about him. I know the whole, you know, harem of of women and his name. He's kind of a know. cult leader. Yeah, that was that was weird. I, but yeah, I think he might I, use I mean, but, I, but I, I guess from watching, you know, Wild Wild, <laughs> wild you know, Wild Wild Country, I'm used to like that's not even weird um, to me anymore. You're so, inoculated. <laughs> yeah, but, but just okay. the that snap, a good snap, yeah, John. Was way to go. Classic snap. But the the Carol Baskin and her husband Howard. He was just ridiculous. Oh, what a catch. It was pretty good. That was amazing. Yeah, how was it was weird, like when he sings to her randomly. Yeah. and But but then Jeff Lowe was just a uh, – I couldn't stand him either. No, and Jeff then, Lowe uh, to me was the worst human being on the show. Like, yeah. I just think he was the worst person. Yeah. Joe was entertaining. Hey, whoop, whoop, there's, there's dirt. Oh, That's half, there's there's the halftime. Uh, no, but also uh, the, the most normal – People and the people you cared about the most, between the two of them, they had two legs and three arms. <laughs> Staff and uh, John Rinky, the guy that had two legs, or no legs. Wait, they yeah. were the most normal, more, no, most normal people in the whole show. Yes, those people were the most normal. And, like, what's what's a little bit sad to me about those people is, uh, hey, there's a touchdown, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> they can make... I think they can make me win this game. Oh, no, never. No, John Landry no, is a big Not man. when John Landry's got something to say about it. You're not catching him. Uh, I can get caught. <laughs> well, okay, he. I, uh, I'm not sure if he got caught or not. <laughs> that's that's, nope, that's a two point, two point. Uh, why did that? Why did that guy run past him? He could have just pulled his flag. We really didn't explain the rules very well. <laughs> But at any rate, uh, no, I felt kind of bad for uh, the one-armed uh, woman and the no-legged fella, and even a little bit Joe's husband. <laughs> Which one? Well, Travis killed himself. Well, the one who killed then... himself. The other one, I, though, I felt like Joe took advantage, even though I don't think Joe was a smart guy. Joe Exotic, for you, those of you who know what I'm talking about. Joe uh, Exotic, <laughs> he, he used meth and yeah, but I and think, I think he was a little more... Day. I think he was pretty manipulative, though. I think, oh, yeah. I think oh, yeah. he found weak people and took advantage of them. Yeah, but, they're all they were all bad people. Everybody in the show was were just bad people, except for the people that actually worked for Joe. Those who actually, yeah, I thought those, those, those were good people. Yeah, the one guy that was the you know totally drugged out that was weird, but at the end, but, but uh, yeah, I thought, but I thought feeding raw uh, rancid meat to people is pretty shitty. Yeah. Um, you know, but man, when, when those pizzas came out, like, oh, oh that's got to be that bad food. The first <laughs> that was like, because no. I thought, because I thought, yeah, if they wouldn't show that if it wasn't fucked up already. <laughs> no, I was like, see, something wrong with this pizza. I thought it might be tigers or something, which actually would have been kind of cool if you had to eat a tiger pizza. Ugh. But like, old Walmart meat pizza is not something I really want. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But, but, I, you know, but, you know, and I, I felt kind of sympathetic for Joe, most of it, but then when he burned down his building and started, you know, that kind of... 
that's where I started turning. I was like, yeah, this guy's really bad. He's he's just all in this for himself. I, I I did not like him after that. Well, my theory on Joe is that he started off as an okay per like a very odd okay. person. Hey, look at that interception. Oh, uh, as a very odd person, but not necessarily bad or evil. I think he got power and into drugs, and it just messed him up. Yeah, he was really he, was, he really loved he, he wanted it to be about him. It was all about him. Yes, and uh, he was an entertainer. And, it was yeah, Joe Shaw. Yep, yeah, and. Uh, but it, yeah, there was just no, there were no good redeeming qualities about the main people. You know, the three main tiger people were just terrible people. But yeah. man, wasn't it entertaining though? <laughs> oh, it was. A, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. I watched every single. I mean, it was just back to back to back to back. I, I, I couldn't stop watching it, especially well, after, after, especially after the episode with uh, when the whole episode about Carol killing her husband. Yes, I, was I thought that was going to be the end. I thought at the end they were going to say that she had killed her husband. Well, they've reopened the case now in Florida because of this documentary. <laughs> well, I don't think she killed her husband. I think that guy was in with – I I just – if she did, I don't think they'll ever find out enough to – They're never going to find out, but I think she did because of the way her – the wheel was set up where if he disappears, it was you know it was too many things convenient for her. Yeah, and, uh, and I just like, feel like there was also a documentary, and wow. I think they cut things to make it seem a little more interesting. Hey, there's a problem. No, oh, yeah, they always do that. I mean, often they'll skew it one way or the other, like the Jinx and, the, you know, these other ones that are making a murderer that make it put one way or the other, or that staircase. When this, right. They'll, they make it to where it makes sense for their story they're telling, but I just think there was too much. Against her, she had an answer for everything. It was just way too perfect, I think. Yeah. Well, like like I said, I, I really I don't think that she killed him. I think that he was one of these guys who liked to make money, and he had a lot of airplanes, which cost a lot of money. Um, and I think that he was in with the cartel, and either they killed him, or he crashed one of his airplanes accidentally, and we'll just never know. I just don't think. Or fuck, maybe he's in uh, Costa Rica right now, like sipping. Margaritas and looking at a tiger's butthole. And he's, he's, happy, and he's happy to not be around here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if you were watching Tiger King? It's like, yeah. I've never reached <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's great. He's probably like, I hope they kill her. I hope they put her in jail. <laughs> I hope they kill that bitch, Cheryl Baskin. <laughs> I wanted to go to follow through with it. I'd have done hey, if I was still there. What did you think about when they had the Joe got 19% of the vote? On uh, the governor's <laughs> I know. <laughs> what? Uh, what? He, what is happening uh, right now? He got like 600 something votes in Oklahoma. <laughs> he had like 900 votes for president when he was running for president. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so crazy. That's funny. People are wild. wild. <laughs> but that, I like, did you know that um, his husband, well, his ex husband now, the one that got the tattoo, well, yeah. That almost covered the Joe Exotic tattoo. Yeah, it was so weird. Did you know that he now has teeth? I saw that, yeah. He's, yeah, he uh, actually he's, has a full set of chompers now. He's uh, <laughs> he's ready yeah. to eat any sort of popcorn. Oh, hey, look at that touchdown. That's, 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 that's an interception. Oh. Well, why are they, uh, why are they not? Okay. Oh, that's the end of the game. So, oh, there you go. win 34-21. Well, the Hitman went 34-21, and Tiger King was a really good show. Well, what other TV have you watched? <laughs> the, the Herd versus Primetime now, week two. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron Long drops kickoff. That's, that's right. Like, that's what we've come to expect right now. Hey, you see my route I just ran? <laughs> it's the same route. Oh, this, there's a sack already. Look at that. That's all right. The Herd will prevail. None of these people play flag football before. <laughs> Hey, look at you. Hey. This was You're so still. Primetime was a good team. They were good. I wish they would have stayed together. They would have been really good. Except that James wouldn't have played with us then, and yeah. we all would have needed cigarette James. By the way, um, what do you think of the digital football cards while we're on that topic? Well, I'm, um, I'm really enjoying them. It's, uh, it's, it's fun to uh, to see those in a different form. See, you know, everybody getting some – highlights in, uh, you know, the process of finding the highlights is tedious for us, but, uh, it's a pain but, in I, 
But I do the enjoy look cool when you're done with them. I enjoy the final uh, the final product. It looks good. You do a good job on that. I uh, I don't mind doing putting in that work for you so you can do make the uh, final product. So it's a uh, it's fun looking though. I like it. I hope everybody's enjoying those so far. Well, if anybody's listening to this cares, um, Troy and Walt, mostly Troy, find the videos, <laughs> and I just put them in the little. Uh, I put them in the video editor. That's how we do those things. So they always find the videos, and then I do the other stuff. So, but we're we're kind of proud of them, and we think that uh, we'll be able to do a whole bunch more. So if y'all want some, just let us know. We're going to start um, charging for them if you really want them, and we'll uh, we'll make it a thing where we can make some money for the league. And if you want some for you and your team or just yourself, then just let us know, and we'll work it out. There's my, my advertisement. Anyway, back to football now. Noah Cole at quarterback. Hands off to you. And touchdown. Look at that. Hey, good job. And that was a good touchdown call by Marco Ochoa. Yep. And he put his hands up, waved them in the right. air. And we got a lot of videoing now. Oh, okay. Now we're on the edge point, I think. Yep. Uh, Noah Cole. Oh, oh look the flip to Cody. Look at, oh, look at that. There's James on the ground. Look at him rolling around in the dirt. They did not, <laughs> you know, they did not, they didn't throw him the ball. And there's Dylan Benoit. He can, he's fast. They got him some amazing. This team had a lot of talent. Um, even fast their, fast. like this guy that just, uh, that you broke up the pass with. I don't even remember his name, but he was really good. Yeah, I think he went Oklahoma State or something like that. I can't remember. Oh, there's James. Oh, there's Cigarette the James. And he's running away from me. No, you got him, though. You got cigarette things on that one. All right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Good job. Hey. What, I what were you, like, 40 to... years old back then? <laughs> I used to have a cool flag. <laughs> oh, they got uh, him. You bitches. <laughs> cigarette James with his broad shoulders. Hey, sure. He's still a now. <laughs> what did you say? His childbearing hips? <laughs> his broad shoulders and childbearing hips. He's shaped like one of those Russian uh, eggs. I, I, I do want to say. I, Way to go, James. James uh, right now is working his tail off. He's a, you know, he's a nurse and he's, Look at dealing, the with a lot, he's dealing with a lot of this COVID going on right now. So I'm hoping he's okay because he can easily contract this. So I hope he's doing, doing okay and he's healthy and get some time yeah, off because he's really working hard. James, you know we love you. Well, look at Holy that guy. good. What are you doing? And then you throw it right into the ground. Well, I couldn't score the touchdown because it was too much stress. <laughs> but, James, we uh, we hope you're doing well, and we we appreciate what you're doing for all of us. Ah, that didn't work out. A Corey Bruno sighting. Yeah, isn't this weird? Hey, look at you. You guys having, like, that train over there on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that me? That didn't do it. Yeah, right. it, would have, it wouldn't have mattered. It would have got well, that steroid guy was there. Yeah. He, he spooked oh. me. I, I, I spooked easily. He spooked easily. Noah, look at this one. Noah, look at Noah get in the zone. Hey, there we go. We did really well when we played against people who never played play football before. <laughs> Like, we were a really good team at that point. We were set up to beat teams that had never played. Well, that's why we started this league, and that's why at some point that fellow said, if they league. If they league. Yeah, he got us on that one. Oh, 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 you made it again. Got in. Got in. Man, that was a good the, guy. the guy in the pink hat was mad. No, he's mad as a badger or a hatter. <laughs> he's mad as a hatter. Was that James? Just no. That was uh. No, that was uh. What's that guy's name? Which one? Brent one Elliston. Blake Venable. Yeah, Blake Venable. I said Brent Elliston. Same thing. Brent Venable. To, oh, cigarette James, James is killing us. Oh, and he got. But Ryan Long doesn't give up. Look at Ryan Long. Ryan Long came from Russia to pull he that. He was play. rushing the quarterback and came back and made that play. Did you see that my dad showed up down there too? I did. Yeah, huh. look at him. I mean, it's amazing that we had uh, that kind of effort back then when the last few seasons. <laughs> if, when, <laughs> if one person hit the flag, that was the end of it. 
Aaron Long, Aaron we missed Long. that guy a lot. Yep. You know, I wish Dalton Ivy could have played longer in the league. Um, he was – I think he would have been more and more fun as the time went on. Because to me, he was like a – well, he was like a more mainstream version of Bowen and Tittman. Well, yeah, he, he brought a lot of uh, character, I'll say. But I'll say to them, like, he, he did make some good plays, and he, of course, he, was, you know, very frustrating sometimes to deal with. He but threw that ball over Blake's head. I felt yeah. like he oh, though, no. was. I felt like he was a better player than Bo Onion. Oh yeah, that's not that's no doubt. So that made it more fun because if Bo Onion were better, it would be more fun. But yeah, since exactly. Bo Onion sucks, he just keeps not, on talking about how bad he is, how good he is. But it's just I, common. <laughs> it's funny. It's like he's. No, I don't know if he just if he gets the joke or if he doesn't get the joke. I don't know which one which worse. Now, I don't think he gets the joke. I, I've seen his Facebook. It's something. <laughs> I mean, he's been working for Bill Peterson on that farm for years now. I thought he left. I thought he had a couple of uh, ostriches getting after his bloody nipples. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, look at you with your little run. And then you talk to people. Oh, he kind of he kind of tasseled the flag in front of you. <laughs> he dangled it. He dangled it. He really got you with that one. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I like how you move your butt forward and your legs keep going and stuff. I can't do that. Mainly, I just spin slowly. <laughs> You're grabbing it there with your with your arms. Well, it's dark matter. I can see it. Most people can. <laughs> well, now what are you doing? You're, you're holding it up? I, I don't know. <laughs> look, I've had a lot of drinking since then. Look at look at the size of my waist. It's, it's like you're running the clock or something. Well, I am. Look, at this point, I was the president. I was calling a timeout. That was a very <laughs> slick move. That's a it, better it was, move right there. I made sure we won every game um, by cheating. No so game did we win. Point. Look, I'm, I'm looking at my mom telling her to, to stop the clock. Okay, Poor lady. The clock. <sighs> six. Hey, remember that time that you told me the clock didn't stop? Um, we did the seven clock. plays. It sure, it looked like it stopped right there, didn't it? Because they called a timeout. Nope. Yes, you called a timeout, remember? Right before they played, you just talked about it. No, 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 no. I don't know. I guess we'll have to discuss this later one time. Hey, he, he called call, up, they called a timeout. Because they called a timeout. <laughs> Look, you need to calm down, okay? You're getting upset. <laughs> that was happening. The, the corona is getting in your veins. Oh, Pink Hat got a spike pull. Pink, pink Hat. Pink Hat. I like their jerseys. The all white, the white T-shirt. The white T-shirt's not bad. Hey, and also, let me go back to what you're talking about about the clock. Why were you having to call a timeout on the extra point? Because the clock was running. If it was I wanted more minutes, time to talk if, to somebody. If it was under two minutes, one. the clock I wanted was to call a play. The touchdown. The clock. I wanted to stopped. call a play. I needed the, to call a play. The clock would have stopped. It was already you, stopped. I just needed to call a play. I'm sure that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, knees down. Uh, his knee was down. Hey, look at Joe Maggard's arms. Good Lord. <laughs> Jack, he is. Man, that guy's built. Yeah, he works out at any well, he worked out at any time fitness in Lumberton. That place is shut yeah, down right now. Yeah, nobody's working out now. Nope. But uh he was working out there and I see him periodically. So if Joe Maggard you're watching this, hello. Hello, Joe. Yeah. I see him every now and then out on the street. What do you think of my dad's facial hair? Now or then? He um, facial hair now because he can't. That little that little uh, beard that little, of his he used to have. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, didn't, he die, didn't he die at black? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he almost fell down. Just standing there. He, he died at Asian black is what I'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> he has the facial hair of a... <laughs> don't know that, no. I don't, don't know that I can let that fly. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, I have to bleep that one out. <laughs> you have to bleep that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I think it's funnier when we bleep it out anyway. It is. Chad, Some people Chad wonder what safety. we said. <laughs> Chad safety going up. He was a force at safety back then. He would mm -hmm. he would hit he would hit you. That was a fourth down stop. Yeah, it was. 
Look at Noah throwing you the football. Uh, no, that's Aaron. That's Aaron. That's Aaron. My Aaron. eyes are getting bad. <laughs> well, it is the high, high definition quality of this. Uh, Dude, I can't tell what anybody is. <laughs> uh, oh, oh yeah, like for what? Cigarette James. Man. See, he when, Noah, when Noah was tired because he would just hand the ball and wouldn't even fake it. He didn't want to deal with the ball. He would just give it to me. Does Matt ever get, did Matt Wilson ever get tired? I mean, I don't know if he ever admitted. He was just always, he's just always injured. At the like, I don't know. He wasn't tired. He just couldn't move. So. Well, we're going to move a little bit. Uh, uh, a little bit, little bit of a shift. Oh, what is this formation? Do we do this? Yeah. All right, look at that. Um, what are you going to do? I'm going to probably throw an interception. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Those oh, don't mind me. Good job. Good job. It was all part of the plan. Hey, look, you're, you're taking the thing. Noah, Noah must have been tired. Um, okay, hey, this was a bad that probably wasn't been a we, good. We need to stop running that play. Well, you know, we just like to fool around, oh, I guess. It again. <laughs> Why didn't I just give him the ball? Oh. I don't know. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, that one didn't work out. Nope. <laughs> that went over like a turd in a punch bowl. Yeah, that was not a good fourth down for you. I wonder why we tried that. Now, why would they, though? Because oh, like, what makes even less sense is them duelsing it back to a guy who can't throw to throw an interception. And then we get it right back. It sure was nice playing with people who didn't know how to do the sport. <laughs> they thought, look, they're doing something. Let's do it, too. If those guys would have... uh oh, good pitch. If those guys would have hung around, though, they would have been a good team. Yeah, I mean, of the people that are in this, I think James is the only one that's still playing. I think so, too, because I Dylan mean, I, I, yeah, Dylan was good. Their quarterback was good. James well, was really Blake, good. I bet Blake would still be playing if he didn't hurt his knee. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh. <laughs> no overthrew Chad because, well, you know. That's our, that's our speed on the outside, I think. <laughs> Right, and it was. So uh, the same yep. thing again. Wide open. Okay, that won't happen. <laughs> yep. Oh, I, well, I like that. Flag. I guess that other team was like, oh, I'll never try that again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. oh, Bruno across the middle. Good play. Yeah, he was pretty good player. He uh, he was. He was. I mean, he always made plays. I, I, you know, I, I look back at our highlights sometimes. And I'm like, yeah, that guy was all right. Hey, was that who was that guy? Uh, the yellow was that Jake McWilliams? That's a tall guy. Oh, McWilliams. That's Jake McWilliams, yeah. Yeah. The tallest herd player ever, probably. I think he's like six six. I think he might be taller than that. I think he only played two games ever. Yeah, well. Uh, nice. He had to go back to Transylvania or wherever they had been. <laughs> uh, brother to brother. Brother Let's to brother. Uh, there we go. Man, we were doing so well. That was great. Hey, who were those guys walking into that? Was that Carl Lambeth? I couldn't tell. I wasn't I wasn't watching. I was admiring the scoreboard. Good catch, James. <laughs> One-handed catch. Dude, James Morrison is one of the best athletes I've ever seen. Primetime James was something else. And by the time you guys probably hear this, we'll have done James's uh, digital football card, and his highlights are awesome. Like, uh, James, that was a good play, by the way. His James's highlights are great. Like, they're very impressive. He, he's fun to watch. Well, for a long person, he has really good hand-eye coordination. Yeah. That was a good thing. I think just a, he's just a fun, fun dude to be around, too, out there. Yeah, especially... No, in those times. <laughs> Good catch! Wow. I don't know that guy's name. I wish we did. I, know, I can't remember. Oh, it's incomplete. Oh well, that's too bad. He was out of bounds. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Ryan Long was like, I've sacked better people than this. <laughs> he's running him out of bounds. Oh, he was again. Good play. Oh, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, I think they were. They were like a, a fourth and 40 or something. Yep, there I am waiting again. 
That's actually the best thing I ever did was wait. I think it's a defense at the top of the screen. They're, they're going to jam Joel off the line here. Yeah, they are. They did. And, and oh, really to nobody. We're running two posts together. I'm doing it again. They're doubling me. They threw it low to Jake McWilliams, which is what you want to do. <laughs> That's what you want to do in your six foot six receiver. <laughs> like when you have Manute Bowl, what you want to do is roll the ball to him. Because of Manute. Have we? Yeah, have we ever talked about that on the podcast? Not on the podcast, but it's been it's been a, a thing for so Chad. Oh so, man, good play, Chad. Well, for all of the, those of you who want to know what Troy and my first podcast, oh, yeah. that was zero to zero. Uh, we're, I'm we're, sorry, zero, zero uh, time on the clock. So. That was fun, but um, side note real quick, Troy and I were going to have a podcast before this, and it was going to be all about the life and times of Minute Bowl, and it was going to be called Up to the Minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then we found out he was dead. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we, pretty much we, it. <laughs> yeah, that's where it ended, because you can't really keep up with a guy. Well, I guess you can always keep up with him, but it's not as fun. That's true. So, Troy, do you think I should do the arbitrary music to separate uh, um, segments? Let's ask the let's ask what the fans think. Fans, hang on, we're doing the poll. I'm doing the poll right now. All right, A or B? Do you want music for A or B? Do you not want music? Okay, they're Um, voting. Tally up. What does it say? I think A. They want music. Yeah, they want music. They want a little bit of music to uh, go to the next segment. So we'll be right back. There, uh, glad you guys came and stayed. So we're gonna we're gonna have our guest here. that's gonna talk about the coronavirus, COVID nineteen um, pandemic, and the the worldwide you know problems we've been having with it and shutting everything down. And our guest is Coach Bill Belichick of the uh, the New England Patriots. Coach, how are you doing today? It looks like he's doing real good, real good. So, Troy, I'll, I'll let you you ask uh, Coach Belichick the first question. Well, uh, well uh, Coach uh, Belichick, it's uh, nice to, uh, to speak with you. This is actually pretty uh, fantastic. I've uh, always wanted to get your thoughts on pretty much anything. But uh, since we're in this crisis right now, let's talk about uh, this uh, COVID-19 issue we're having. Um, what, what are your thoughts, your immediate thoughts on coronavirus, COVID-19? Stupid thing. Oh well, well since uh, okay, I can understand how you feel about that. So here's my here's the question: Who do you think is the best person to combat this uh, coronavirus? Um, I guess man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's uh, he is he's a guy that's probably good at everything. So uh, I mean, why not? We could ask him. He can do pretty much everything else. So it's, uh, that's probably a good uh, response there. Well, we should ask him. <laughs> All right, all right, Coach, um, you know, the CDC keeps changing their regulations about what we're supposed to do, and um, we're supposed to social distance, I know that, but they, they currently said uh, that we're supposed to start covering our faces. What do you think about that? Yeah, I've already covered this. You mean you covered the topic, or you covered your face, or what? I've already covered it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, Coach, I got it, I got it, I got it. So when, after, you know, uh, when do you expect to know some more results about how many people we've lost and how many are going to be infected um, through this entire thing? Like, do you, do you think we'll find them out soon or what? Well, we'll find out on Saturday. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty interesting. I'm, I'm excited to hear that. Uh, is this Saturday or next Saturday? Well, we'll find out on Saturday. 
Uh, all right, Coach. Uh, what, what, what do you think they will do if they find out the people in the CDC are infected? It's hard to find anybody's role on our team that's the same every week. So that's perfect. Yeah, I, mean, it's, 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 I guess you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. I guess so you gotta you gotta keep moving on is what we should do. I guess. Uh, uh, okay. Go ahead. What, do you think there's some type of 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 game plan or some type of a uh, place that could really get this under control? What, what, what do you think would happen? I could just zero actually a copy of the game plan and send it over to Kansas City if you got it. I mean, it might be easier for all of us. <laughs> well, Coach, I mean, you know, people are scared. You know, they uh, they want to know what's going on. And, and I just, like, do you just know people, like, in the business or whatever? Or you, you do you have connections? I have multiple friendships that are important to me, and that's what that was about. So, uh, Coach, uh, that Dr. Anthony Fauci, he seems to be doing a really good job in the White House, getting everybody uh, prepared and just keeping us kind of, you know, our expectations where they should be and not trying to get us too uh, happy about our situation or too low about our situation. Uh, what do you think of, how do you think of the job he's been doing? Well, he's a Pittsburgh guy, you know, friend of a friend kind of thing. Coach Belichick, uh, I'm looking it up right now. It's Anthony Fauci's from uh, New York City. We're on to Cincinnati. Well, <laughs> like, like I said, he's he's from from New York City, sir. I, I don't know what that is doing thing. Seattle. Did you? I think, Cody, I think we're losing him. I think we're losing Coach. I don't know <laughs> if he's really into this interview. Is everything is everything okay, Coach? We're are we are we bothering you? I feel like we're uh, we're kind of wasting some of your time here. Go look at the film and say, yeah, that's you know what he's right. Well, well, coach, if you're if you're still able to, you know, answer our questions or whatever. I mean, who do you think would actually do the best job, uh, you know, with this? Like instead of Anthony Fauci. What like when Corey Dillon ran for sixteen hundred yards? Would I be against that? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, coach, you know, these other these other countries, some of them have, like, actually flattened the curve. And I think a few countries, like uh, China says that there's really no more COVID problem, and as well as South Korea. So how have they done that? What have they done? Lawrence Taylor was like that. I mean, Lawrence Taylor, he, I mean, he knew what every player on the field was doing. Well, all right. Well, Coach, I feel like we've uh, taken enough of your time. We appreciate you coming on the show. Uh do you have anything else you want to say to the uh, listeners out there? We're on to Cincinnati. And he's gone. Well, thanks, guess... Coach. Uh, that was nice. <laughs> I'm glad you were very honest. Um, uh, well, there was our interview with uh, Coach Bill Belichick of the New England Patriots. And of the world. He's just a man mm -hmm. of the world now. We're, we're all in the same boat now. We're all in the same team. You know, we didn't even ask him about Tom Brady. Well, that's inconsequential right now. I mean... What, is he, what, what, what can he talk about? Uh, he wouldn't want to talk about Tom Brady. In fact, I think he gave us longer answers for the the uh, pandemic than he would have about the quarterback situation. Well, we did only ask him about the pandemic. That's so true. It makes, it makes more sense that he would have answers about that. Yeah, that's very true. We did, well, we did uh, bring up Corey Dillon. I didn't realize Corey Dillon was in the medical field. Or Lawrence Taylor. Or Lawrence Taylor. I can see, see where Lawrence Taylor would have a lot of uh, gravitas in uh, in China and Korea. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, well, that's all I have for our guest. I don't have anything else going on. So, uh, <laughs> is, is there anything else you would like to discuss, Troy, while while we're on our our uh, quarantine amateur hour? No, I just, uh, I think we probably, I'd like to start looking in to see if there's any cures for this, like, you know, backwoods cures for coronavirus. I'm sure that if we search the deep web deep enough, we'll uh, find that uh, there's probably some homemade uh, cures for this thing. That you know have what? It, have it cleared up overnight. You know what? We're going to change the show format a little bit, and I think on the next amateur hour, you and I are going to actually try to explore some homemade homeopathic um, cures and other activities for 
corona prevention and uh, eradication. How does that sound to you? I like it. I, I, I can't wait to find out if there's uh, something yeah. going on that we can uh, exploit. <laughs> Perfect. Can't wait to exploit people. <laughs> Well, I think I'm done. I'm at like a, an ABV of 0.26, so that'll be enough. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yep. Well, you have a great day, Troy, and every anyone who listens. My dog just bit the other dog, so that'll happen. Uh, uh, my, my dogs <laughs> are laying down, passed out on the couch next to me. Well, uh, you guys all have a great day, and we look forward to, in the coming months, playing play football again. I can't wait. I'm excited. And Cody, it was, it was good to talk to you. I hadn't talked to you in a while, so I had a good time. Well, good. We'll have an excellent day.